46-year-old Christine Frederick characterizes herself as a sort of den mother for wayward teens for the last several years, taking in runaways and dropouts, offering them shelter, food, and counseling. I don't allow them to party in the house. I don't allow them to do drugs. They have to be up at a certain time. We read our Bible. It all began when she agreed to terminate her rights to her own three children. After I lost my children, their friends came into my life. And um, they were drinking, popping zannies, doing triple C's, skipping school, doing all sorts of stuff. Christine says it's her mission to help young adults turn their lives around. She herself was bounced to more than 40 foster homes and spent three years in prison for breaking and entering. I do have a criminal record, that, and I think, Mike, that um, because of the way I've lived and the choices I've made in life is exactly what helps me help these guys out. One of the dozens of young adults who have come through her doors, Tucker Cipriano, whom she says lived in her house for three months last year. And she had several conversations with Tucker's father, Bob. Robert Cipriano was like, I hope this does work, Chris, because we've tried. Frederick won't talk about what, if any, interaction she had with Tucker in the days leading up to the murder of his father and beatings of his mother and brother. I do not want to discuss anything about that. As for her drug case, her attorney Steve Schwartz says she has a legal medical marijuana card and had legal marijuana plants inside her home. Schwartz says he's suspicious of the timing of the raid on her house, which came six months after the initial investigation and just days after the Cipriano case broke. He believes police may be trying to pressure his client into revealing more details about Tucker and whatever she might know about the murder case. I know that the um, authorities do want Ms. Frederick to talk to them about Mr. Cipriano. If she were to give them whatever information she had and she were to take a polygraph test, subsequent to that, they would determine whether or not they would make an offer to her and this drug case. As for Tucker, Christine does say he struggled with several issues, like his adoption. I told him sometimes we need people in our life to help us, you know. And he believed that I could be that person. Farmington Hills police told me today the Cipriano investigation is completely separate from the Christine Frederick drug case. And the timing of the raid on her home was coincidental. I'm Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News.